So like you probably already know, Assassin's Creed 2 is pretty much amazing. Unlike the first Assassin's Creed, this game actually has a decent story. And with so many new, great and amazing things to do, you'll be awestruck to say the least. Now if you are a consistent gamer, I'm sure you've heard plenty about the game itself, so I won't talk too much about that. The bonus discs contain about four different categories, trailers, memories, soundtracks, and diaries. Now I know what you're thinking, boring, but how many games like this contain a soundtrack with 14 different songs? It is pretty neat. Now the trailers are just, well, trailers for the game itself, and the memories are just the makers rambling on about the game, and the diaries are pretty much self-explanatory. The makers blab on about certain aspects of the game, like when you rant about that guy on Modern Warfare who keeps stealing your kills. Annoying, I know. On to downloadable content. If you buy the game, it comes with exclusive maps, meaning more annoying puzzles and people to kill viciously. Better yet, more maps are said to be coming in the new year. On to the gameplay. Let's just say it makes up for those poor in-game movies. Killing people with more than one hitted blade, shooting people with a freaking gun, and yes, flying. Oh, but let's not forget the wagon chase consisting of cliffs, fire, and unwanted hijacking. Sounds like it gives Die Hard a run for its money, hey? Now the downside to what seems like a perfect game happens when, and it will happen, you misjudge a corner and run up a wall, only to fall 10 stories. Also, when trying to find assassin's grave sites, the camera is fixed Prince of Persia style, and just like that, your death perception is gone. Besides some small glitches, the game itself is immaculate. The downloadable content is great, especially knowing more is to come. So when push comes to shove and knife turns to sword, I'll stick with the assassin. 9.5 out of 10.